Hello there. In this video, we're gonna see how to control a device using a relay and eventually this is what's gonna help you to control any device remotely. So I have drawn a high level schematic diagram of a relay. So basically we have three plates. Think of what is as three plates and it's connected via a coil. This is very high level. Three pins have official names, which is NO stands for normally open, C stands for common and NC stands for normally closed. What it really means by default, the common and the normally closed plates are adjoined. In other words, they are closed. So in other words, they are attached. So the current can flow through these two plates. So that will make the circuit to be closed. The normally open plate is by default not connected with the common plate. If you see the figure 2 in this, we are energizing the coil and what happens is the normally open plate is now connected to the common plate. So even in this case, the current would flow and the circuit would be completed. For this, the coil has to be energized. So this is the basic structure of a relay. Now let's see what we want to control. So let's say that we have a lamp. So this lamp has to be plugged into a wall and this wall socket has 220 to 110 volts, whatever it depends on which country you are in. And technically speaking, you have generally two wires. One is your positive and one is your ground. So one is your face and the other one is the ground. Now let's see how to hook this up. Now what we're going to do is you're going to leave the ground as it is and you're going to take the face wire and connect it to the common and the other end of the face wire you're going to connect to the back to the socket. So that's how you're going to make this connection. On the relay side we want to control the energizing of the coils. The way to do it is on the other side. So we're going to connect VCC to the Arduino board 5 volts. So you need a power supply to the relay and then IN1 is your digital pin output. So this is what is going to control the energizing of the coil and the de-energizing of the coil. So when this input is high, this coil will be energized and you will have contact and the vice versa. The last pin is the ground and this ground has to be connected to your board. So that's how this whole thing works. Now, when I give a high signal, what happens is your light is going to glow and when I give a low signal, your light is going to turn off. Let's take a look at how to construct on the, on the circuit board and test it out. Okay, so this is our relay here. And we have two relays, so you can control two devices at once. And these are the three ports for each of the relay. So we have normally open, common and normally closed, normally open, common and normally closed. So this is for the device which you want to control. On the other side, we have four pins. One is VCC, one is IN2, input 2, input 1 and then we have ground. So what I've done is, uh, this is my this is the bulb we want to glow. So you see that it has two, two wires, right? So what I've done is I have kept one wire as it is. So you see that the one wire is not disconnected or cut. The other wire goes through one, one point goes through the normally open and the other point goes to the common. And on the other side, it's going, this pin is going to my extension cord. So this has a fuse, so make sure that you have a fuse so that you don't bust your mains. Now our goal is to control this relay, ultimately this light via this board. So what we're going to do is connect it. So I've already done that. So on the board is very simple. The VCC from here goes to the 5 volts, the ground goes to the ground and IN2 goes to any of your digital pins. That's about it. Let's take a look at the software. 
So I'm using a very plain simple example. Um, you can improvise if you like. The first thing, the only thing I would like to do is I'm initializing the pin to output and I am writing high, I'm waiting for a second and then I'm writing low. That's all I'm doing. So let's run this. Okay, so so you you see that this the relay is working. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the supply. You know I'm going to give the supply uh, to the wire. So there you go. The relay is working. I can feel it working, and uh, the bulb is glowing as well. Now just to test it out a little bit, let's try to decrease the delay. That's half a second. There you go, now it's working much faster. The, the idea is to test if it's working. Well, now you know how to control a device. It could, this could be any device. It did not be a light, it could be a, it could be a computer, it could be a server, it could be a fridge, it could be a microwave, it could be practically any device on earth. Thank you.